On the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla as well as Congress President Malika Arjun Karge and other leaders have paid floral tributes to Netaji at the Samvidan Sadhan. Meanwhile, still with us on the broadcast are our two very special guests, Wing Commander Bakshi as well as Colonel Sodhi. I'd like to take this across uh, to Wing Commander Bakshi first. Uh, you know, it is in fact uh, Netaji's birth anniversary at this point and uh, th th it is Parakram Divas today. There are going to be grand celebrations at the Red Fort uh, this evening. Uh, there's going to be a nine-day Bharat Parv that is going to be launched and this event will showcase the country's rich diversity and will exhibit different cultures. How crucial do you think all of this is in fact to inform our youth about the sacrifices made by our brave hearts uh, all the way back for us to gain our independence? We are, uh, you have brought something which is very close to my heart. Uh, when you are talking in terms of Netaji and we are talking in terms of fight for independence and you are taking us back to 1947, let me draw your attention to that famous trials which were which took place on Red Fort, where Bolabai Desai and Prime Minister Nehru both fought. They were they fought for the INA soldiers who their death sentence was being accorded to them. Entire youth of India was up, up in flames. Let me tell you, Pia, this it will not sink into your mind because the gravity of this is so serious that that the entire India was up in flame and that is the time when the British government wrote to Crown and said, we are, our days are over, picnic is over, we have to evacuate. Why? Because at that time there was a naval mutiny in, 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 also had started taking place in Bombay. Jabalpur, the signals regiment uh, center had a major mutiny which even army headquarters is under the now. And 45 Air Force squadrons and units had mutinied. 256 have had was captured. It is that time that the British back was broken. And Clement Attlee, when he came to India again, when he was told, why did you leave in hurry? He clearly said that, was it the uh, uh, Quit India movement? He said nothing like that. It was because the youth movement and your INA, Subhash Chandra Bose, which actually accelerated our departure. So that is what the, the importance of this day is, and that is what the youth should remember. And this then, when you have pride in yourself, when you have pride in your origin, automatically your culture looks good to you. You don't ape the West. You don't change your accents. You don't change your, your dresses. You don't pretend that you don't know about your background. This, the spirit which has been infused now, the seven days or nine days, as you have mentioned, will celebration will take place, will bring this fire right across the nation that what India means, we have already shown the last six months, we are seeing from Chandrayaan to G20 to all this is taking place. The world knows what India means. The youth must know what India means. My children and the children who are coming, they must know what India means. And that is why we are indebted to Subhash Chandra Bose. We are very sorry that things were not in his hand. Had they been in his hand, I think that today the day would have been different. But whatever it is, better late than never. We are, we are very happy. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.